Hi there and welcome to the uh, History Hunters channel on YouTube. <laughs> Maybe a new introduction is uh, at place but anyway. Um, just sitting here uh, I was sort of trying to set up some uh, photos here of different kinds of uh, relics and I just got an idea of uh, something that I wanted to do for a very long time. Uh, we keep finding stuff by digging into the ground, you know, we found metal, uh, we found ceramics, we find, you know, whatever thing we can after the uh, Second World War. Um, and it bugs me sometimes, I do get some stupid ideas of uh, trying to get even more things coming up from the ground. But the main problem for me sometimes is that I can't go underwater with my metal detector. So. I just got a sort of small idea about uh, getting hold of some um, magnets and maybe trying to, uh, you know, go to the same areas that I would go to and check out what's uh, underneath the surface of some small water streams, rivers, which could be close to the uh, World War II sort of uh, locations. I have one specific sort of place that I would like to. Um, have a look at and uh, see if I can share uh, my first uh, magnet fishing adventure with you today on this sort of quest for for, for finding more uh, things from the past. I don't know how well this will show up here on the uh, video but uh, this is what I'm thinking about. You see up here in the right hand corner you have uh, this here used to be a uh, barrack, a German World War II barrack and it's sort of on a small flat surface area and there's a very steep hill and just about 20 meters up here there's a small pond and it's not big it's probably just about 10 square meters or something but I really would like to see did they use this pond because I put a metal detector on the edges of the pond and I got a lot of signals so I'm sort of curious uh, of how to get into that pond and see what could be there. So um, hopefully I'll be able to use the magnets to check out that place and uh, see if there are something there. So there we go. Might not be a masterpiece but looks quite okay. I just put some plastic tape over here to make it smooth so it won't stick that easy onto different kinds of objects probably down there. I got this one as a spear. I'm gonna link that up with another rope. These I'm gonna take care of later. These are gonna be my uh, tools when I go out with my little son because I don't want two strong magnets uh, when he's uh, playing uh, or doing this. So these are gonna be built later with a smaller rope and a smaller sort of uh, shackle here. So let's head out and see if we can find a target for today and maybe if we are lucky history will share some more things with us here today. Beautiful day here today, really glad I wanted to do this at precisely this day. Summertime is here, warm, just a small breeze, very very nice. I have to walk for about 10 minutes to get here so can look at all the small things while I'm doing that and uh, get back to you when I come up there. Always things to see here. That is actually a pole to put the barbed wire into. And let's see, I can show you something here. Here's actually one of the metal bars that they put into the ground. You can see this is what they made fencing off. And it's been here all the way since that, and they built the um, barbed wire fencing around the uh, location. So they had the triple barbed wire perimeters, and this is one of the, uh, the original fence poles. Lots of cool details to look at here. This, you can't see it, but it's actually been a manhole, a foxhole right here. Guarding that position over there, that's just over the area of a small pond that I'm trying to find. I found it, there is the pond, you can see it's not big, just up here on the hillside and I'm really curious about whether it was made or not, so um, let's have a look from the other side here. Here you can see 
sort of like in the uh, small uh, mountainside hill here but I got some signals around this sort of small pond so I'm gonna throw that magnet in there and uh, let's see what we can find I actually saw a small fish in there I saw two actually that's amazing it's such a small biosphere here but uh, life can be anywhere I'm sort of trying to establish whether this thing was built and I really do think it is but I can see a row of, uh, of um, big rocks being piled up here so they probably used this to store the water either for maybe not for drinking but for other purposes actually it's very clear now so I can see a huge sort of construction thing down there all right since I'm not the uh, expert on the magnets fishing I really wouldn't know how to do this I'm just gonna throw it right in so I throw it in there it's exactly deep you just have to pull it in see if it will stick to something doesn't look like it's deep at all of course it will probably be stuck in all kinds of crap but it's okay I got all day long uh, is there anything in there now no I think I'm gonna do this very scientifically not I'm really sort of curious about this magnet fishing thing could be interesting to come to special spots in the rivers the bridges maybe you could find stuff who knows I'm just gonna go out of here for a while and uh, see if the magnet will stick to something the magnet did snag onto this thing here looks like it's some sort of cable why is there a cable here I don't know it's quite long green and still running around inside here here we are just a metal sort of cable but I got a thing right there and I think I'm gonna be able to get it up just have to be patient Did get something I lost it but now it's right under there oh what is that that's a massive round ball is that a cannonball wow that looks quite interesting a huge massive steel ball that is really heavy it could easily be very old that is amazing look at that that's why it dropped off because it has such a narrow point to connect to the magnet but that was very unexpected definitely keeping that I'm gonna check what that is and uh, hmm that's strange so I'm gonna keep at it see if something else comes up I have found two objects a big one there and a smaller one there but it just can't get it up it's probably stuck in the in the mud down there but it's a lot of lot of grass under there that's for sure a <laughs> lot of mud magnetized mud because some of it sticks but that is probably just rust particles from other things but normally you'll get this not too exciting but you never know what's gonna stick underneath there so just some small pieces who knows what they are was something in the end there I think it caught the magnet I feel a little bit heavier is there anything under there yeah what is that that looks strange let's see some sort of uh, resin material strange couple of uh, stainless steel pieces I don't know what they're for but I uh, can definitely see some stainless steel pieces there hmm 
not too much here but it's quite exciting actually for every pull I do it's like what's next coming up well I'm pulling and pulling and pulling and you know when things like that come up you sort of get excited probably just a metal rod yes it is it's a metal rod Could easily have been a rifle barrel at least I'm excited and that's what it's all about being excited being out having a good time so I have my cannonball <laughs> a tubing and who knows what else is down there all right seems like I've been at it for about an hour so I think I'm gonna head up to another spot try it everywhere I got a few small bits and pieces I got a cartridge which was totally rusted there are one two three four or five big pieces here I need a hook so I'm gonna see if I can get a hook and maybe pull them up later but this was uh, quite a cool adventure actually learning to use the magnet and uh, trying to see what we could recover from history really enjoyed that and uh, if I don't see you I'm gonna go to another location right now but if I don't see you I will definitely be back in a new adventure in the near future so until then have a nice day and I'll see you later